fourth lightest. I'm sorry, you're 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 only the fourth heaviest. Yeah. How about that? That's the line starter on the team now. Yeah. What's that? Uh, what's the benefit of having such a big line? Ah, uh, man, it's a good thing, uh, especially when it gets late in the in the season. Um, anytime you can put some uh, weight on some guys. I know the left side of the line has been heavy, but we had some additions. So, Makai's a big man. Uh, so I feel small, but uh, I can't imagine how Cam feels. So, uh, but yeah, no, it's a good thing. There was a play yesterday where I think it was you, Beckton, and Milad that were all lined up next to each other. Like, what, are, what are the possibilities of just having the Ah, uh, I just hope I don't get my feet stepped on by either one of them. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, no, but I mean, you get, you know, all of us three on one side. You, uh, you better have some answers because, uh, you know, I, I don't think anybody can move like Milada at that size uh, and Makai, you know, exceptional mover. So I uh, did some tackle over stuff yesterday. That's the first time we did it. But, you know, hopefully we use a lot during the season. I feel like I've asked you a version of this question for 12 years or so. But when you're not out there and you see kind of the way the O-line struggles, does it show you your value to the team in those settings? Yeah, um, I, I think hopefully when guys, when I'm not out there, I think it's just more like a morale boost. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a good player, but – I think um, just the friendship and bond that I have with my guys uh, goes a long way. So, um, you know, if Malata or Landon ain't, is not out there, whenever I'm out there, I, I feel that because they, they mean that, that much to me. So, um, you know, I was out there today. It felt good. Uh, you know, we had some things to work on. Uh, but at the same time, we had some long drives, um, you know, trying to get our lungs in shape. So, yeah, it was good, man. I, I'm excited and, and um, you know, camp's going along smooth. What was different about this one? What was good about it? What? You, you well, I didn't have uh, Jason Kelsey to, to listen to cussing and uh, <laughs> getting mad, so that was different. Uh, but no, like Slay said, I, I feel like this camp was, you know, it did feel longer. So, um, you know, we didn't have – we had one joint practice. Uh, we didn't have two, so that was different. But, yeah, it did feel longer. I, I feel like we uh, – you know, our emphasis on uh, ball security was good. I don't think we had as many turnovers as what we did last year. At least in, uh, in preseason and training, so that was the emphasis. And uh, and yeah, we have a lot of new faces in the line room. So for us, it's about you know whoever's in there. Um, Communication is good, so you know we're not having any missed assignments. So and that's uh, that's progress over over the last two weeks in, in a good direction. How much more was, was our, uh, emphasis was there on blitz protection? Like, was that more? Yeah, than ever? yeah, we didn't. Yeah, we definitely uh, don't want what happened in Tampa Bay happening. So. Uh, a lot of answers to, um, you know, blitz zero, um, throwing hot. So uh, we worked on that a lot, uh, still worked on it. And, uh, you know, how we draft offensive linemen high in anticipation of, with Kelsey and Jordan, of course. Mm -hmm. They didn't take a tackle in this draft when there was a good class. Yeah. Did you give the team any kind of indication of how many years you want to still play? Do you have, like, a number in your head? Yeah, I mean, like, I think physically I could play – I think I, I could do what Whitworth did and JP. I think I could play till 40, uh, just with my movement. Uh, you ask coaches, ask players. I think physically I can do it. What weighs on my mind is just you know my kids are getting older, my dad's getting older. Uh, you know had some health issues, so you know I'm thinking you know two or three more years um, realistically. But you know we'll see. Um, you know it's it's hard to step away from something you love and something that you've done for so long. And I think you know for me I grew up as an only child, so this is really like the only brothers that I've had. You know being a part of a team, so. Um, but yeah, those are the things that weigh on my mind. But uh, you know, at least two or three more good years. What do you think Makai has improved the most since the start of camp? Uh, really, just uh, you know, I think knowing his assignment, and that was really it. I think he's always had the tools. He's had uh, really quick feet, and you know, he's learned fast. So uh, it's a little bit different, obviously, from playing tackle to guard. The guys are on you now, so. Uh, you have to be pretty violent with your with your with your arms and your hands. And uh, good thing about him is he's got <laughs> extremely long arms, so he can get them on guys. But yeah, man, it's been good. We've uh, you know the longer that we played together, the more reps we have, the better it showed up. It has showed up on film. And you know we have a long ways to go. Nothing set in stone yet, but you know he's really really had a good day today. Based on camp, based on camp so far, if you had to pick one guy on the team who's going to have a big season, who would it be? if you had to pick one guy who's going to have a big season, who would it be? Jordan Malata. Um, just a great attitude. Uh, you know, one of my best friends on the team. I uh, just, just a guy that works his, you know, works his butt off. You know, he's not uh, from going from where he was, not ever playing football, to being, you know, one of the best tackles in the game says a lot. So, um, you know, he's always been a great player. But I, you know, I think he's ready to take it to the next level. Going back to your point 
about the communication and the fact that there's so many new faces. Yeah. That's important. Landon a couple of weeks ago was telling us how it's been more of an emphasis this year on player-led accountability and yeah. player-led communication. How have you seen that evolve over the course of training here? Yeah, I mean, uh, coaches can only do so much. They can emphasize so much. But uh, when we get on the practice field, if you ever see any scuffles or any, uh, you know, us chatting, a lot of it's about that. Um, you know, everybody has a job to do. And, uh, you know, whenever communication isn't isn't going on, people have missed assignments. Uh, people get blown up in the backfield, uh, incompletes, uh, interceptions. So a lot of bad stuff can happen. So, um, like I said, the coaches can only do so much. But I think, you know, Landon's taken a step. As, um, you know, I've taken a step uh, just, you know, with our old line um, you know, we don't have Kels there anymore, so a lot of it's helping out Cam. Cam's uh, has done tremendous, but just know that he's not alone. You know, we're all there with him, and we're all in this together. Good. Yep.